Hi everyone, it's Meher from Vancouver, BC. For those of you joining me for the first time, welcome to my channel. The intention of my videos is to help job seekers in their job search strategy by interviewing experts in the field. If you are a first time viewer, please don't forget to subscribe so that you are alert every day I post the videos. So let's start with today's interview. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be interviewing Eva Offersman. She's a global citizen having lived in five countries and more before landing in New York City in 2016. She's very comfortable with change and intentional risk taking. She's a certified career coach, member of the Forbes HR Council and lifelong learner. Welcome Eva. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel for another interview series. Today I'll be interviewing Eva. Hi Eva, how are you doing? Hi Mayor, good morning. Uh, I'm doing very well, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you for joining me. So my first question for you is, can you tell me more about your journey in terms of your career and if you face any obstacles and how you overcome those obstacles? Sure, absolutely, with pleasure. So I am originally Dutch, grew up in the Netherlands, uh, did my studies there, studied psychology, then studied uh, criminology. So that was not necessarily related <laughs> to what I'm doing now. Um, but then uh, actually my first job in Belgium was with a recruitment agency, sort of fell into it, uh, as some people do, um, but then immediately loved it. So basically since then, my career has been in recruitment talent acquisition. I have covered, I've been in multiple countries and I've been in multiple industries. I've been on the agency side, I've been on the in-house side, but the common theme really uh, of my career is recruiting. So um, from Belgium, I went to Switzerland, then to Poland. So that was for a mix of personal and, and professional reasons. So before I came to the US in 2016, I was in Poland, Krakow, and I joined there a um, private bank uh, an American private bank, 200 years old, but in Poland, it was a startup office. So I joined as their first recruiter there on the ground. The office grew from zero to 1,200 employees. And I was a big part of making that happen with my team. So that was super exciting. And then they transferred me over here to the US, to New York in October, 2016, where I then led a global team of recruiters. And since a month now, I left them and I actually joined a recruiting tech startup. Both oh, that's a great uh, history you have from all, uh, all over the world. So I was going to ask you that from transitioning from Europe, from Poland to US and New York, is there any transition or in terms of like any cultural differences or, or any way of doing recruitment is different than Europe? Sure, that is a good question. And um, I think my biggest, the, what I experienced as the biggest difference was maybe not so much related as culture, uh, to culture, but more related to the uh, maturity of the offices. So as I mentioned, the, the company that I joined, the office that I joined in Kaka was a startup office. So I was building that up there, um, which was very fast paced, decisions were made quickly. Uh, and then I moved to the US where um, it's a private bank, 200 years old headquarters, which is a very different pace, as you can imagine, um, and um, more status quo versus high growth environment. So I think that was my biggest difference that I experienced in terms of culture. Um, and actually what I realized, the lesson that it has taught me is I much more like the startup fast-paced environment. So that's why I thrive more than in a status quo type of environment. And that's actually what then has led me to, to join an actual startup in New York because the market in New York is full of startups, which is super exciting. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy for you. And thank you again for sharing your career uh, history with us. And for those of you watching or listening, if you have any career advice of people transitioning from one country to another or things that you learn, we would like to hear from you. Please leave it in the comment section and tune in tomorrow for another question with Eva. 